Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Evening News Bulletin on Thursday. Rangers are in Belgium for the Europa League last 32 first leg against Antwerp, with kickoff coming at 8 o'clock. The Gers are overwhelming favourites to progress and win on the night, although manager Steven Gerrard knows his side must go up another gear against opposition who is second in their division, and they beat Tottenham at home in the group stage. Well, this is a level where you can't afford to have a night off, um, you can't afford to, um, you know, put in a performance, for example, like our Hamilton performance, we know the level goes up in this competition, the standard, the technical quality goes up um, for sure. So we have to be right at it and, and find our maximum level of performance to qualify. Gerard said our Fred Morelos owes a performance to his teammates as he returns from a domestic ban, as does Kimar Roof. Ryan Jack, Stephen Davis and Glenn Kamara are likely to start in the middle, whilst Philip Hollander could partner Conor Goldson at the back and he has his sights set deep into the tournament. Hopefully we can we can get to get another step this year compared to the the last two years, uh, and uh, something we, we we talk about. Celtic midfielder David Turnbull is pushing for a place in Scotland's Euro 2020 squad, according to assistant manager John Kennedy. Turnbull scored the only goal in yesterday's 1-0 win over Aberdeen, with Steve Clark's next squad to be named at the end of March for World Cup qualifiers. I know Steve will be obviously a lot of decisions to make in terms of his, his squad and, the, and maybe he'll be loyal to the guys that got him there but you know, Dave's doing everything he can in terms of performances to, to ask the question and that's all he can do but ultimately it'll be you know, Steve's choice and how he sees it. And Aberdeen fullback Ronald Hernandez is set to join Atlanta United on loan for the new MLS season having just played six times in over a year. The 23-year-old Venezuela international signed a four and a half year deal at Pataudry for £800,000 last January. Though the Dons do expect to recoup that money if Hernandez signs for Atlanta permanently. Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter channels, where you can also catch up with the football show with Peter and Ruffy. They will have discussed all of today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.